Oh, it's coming down. Um, I'm gonna have to get out of here and put a tarp on that mulch before it gets soaked. Holy! Hey there, guys. My name's Jacob Javut, and last year I started my very own business in hopes of one day reaching financial freedom. I have learned a ton since I started, and I wanted to create this channel as a way to share with you guys what I've learned, but also follow me along my journey on the road to financial freedom. So this first video is gonna be about a landscaping job that I did, and I'm just gonna, I have some footage from it. There's actually some, uh, a hedge that I trimmed as well as some shrubs, and I'm just gonna kinda walk you guys through that. I'll give you some advice on things that I know. Um, I'm gonna go over the numbers, if I made the money that I wanted to make for the amount of hours that I put into it, um, and then see what I can improve on, and just overall go over the job and uh, see how it went. So let's jump into that. Well, I just got the mulch. And now I am on my way to the job site. <clears throat> this is the hedge that I trim. Uh, you can see it's, I mean, that's the house there. It's a single story, but hedge was actually above the house. I think you can see a little bit. There's still some of the hedge in the backyard. Um, the city actually has to do that because there's power lines. Um, but yeah, this is all trimmed. I did that yesterday. I got to trim these shrubs. Customer used to have a bigger pool here and it's all just sand. And it would be pretty expensive to take all the sand out, so he wants to turn it into a mulch bed. As you can see in the picture, there's a bunch of rocks on the outside with all this fabric, which is now right here. Um, so I had to pull all that up, and then I raked all the stone in instead of removing the stone, which would have been not cost effective and really wouldn't have made a difference. But as I was pulling the fabric up, you know, I thought this was just one big circle like that. But... There's this little, um, I don't know what to call it, but there was pavers. It looked like that was how you entered the pool. So what I'm thinking is I might have enough pavers here to move that ladder over here and kind of create a walkway. Uh-oh. Well. Oh, it's coming down. Um, I'm gonna have to get out of here and put a tarp on that mulch before it gets soaked. Holy hell. All right, so. I just uh, pulled the truck here back into home base. Uh, anyway, so I keep all my stuff here and it was actually not too far away from the job. So I'm gonna put a tarp over this. The rain's actually dying down, but I mean, it came out of nowhere. So I'm gonna put a tarp over this in case it really starts coming down again. The biggest thing that I'm worried about is uh, getting that mulch super wet. It's gonna make my job a hell of a lot harder having to shovel that out of there when it's soaked. But yeah, I'm gonna get a tarp on this and I'm gonna get back to work. See you there. This spot here, customer also wants this to be a uh, bed. <clears throat> he kind of said over here, but I'm looking at this hose here. I think what I'm gonna do is kind of a little bit of a curve here. That might be kind of cool. He said right here is growing, so leave that. And then, I don't know. Maybe curve it again. I, I, you know, I know how I said I don't mind working in the rain, but at some point, uh, it's just so uncomfortable and I'm just cold and I don't want to get myself sick. So I'm going to get some dry clothes, eat some chili. Um, hopefully I can get back to it today, but if not, I got all day tomorrow if the rain holds off. Alrighty, so obviously I'm not done trimming these, um, but what I like to do is I'll first go through and cut all the fat off, which is, you know, you could see all the stuff just poking out. And now I can kind of see what their natural shape is. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get all these to look exactly the same, unless I, you know, took a bunch off of this one and then it's just gonna be dead and look like crap. Maybe I can get a few of these to look the same. 
I'm gonna take a take a long look and then uh, I'll get back to it. look pretty good um, I've done quite a bit of touch up in video school or pretty much any art they tell you project is never done and the same applies for hedges I could keep just touching them up touching them up touching them up touching them up and uh, eventually I think I'm just gonna cut it too thin make it look like crap so I'm gonna leave it as is it looks good and uh, move on to the next project all right, so my dad's still not here, but um, I cleaned up everything I could here. Uh, obviously the power line's there, so the city's gonna take care of the rest of that. Um, I got all the brush put into piles. Oh, it's all been edged, um, you know, graded. I actually, I went back and forth when I was edging this. I actually, actually edged it a couple times. The problem here was he had a bunch of sand it's gonna be too expensive to haul it out of here. The, the, the grass wasn't gonna grow. So we're gonna turn it into a bed, but he's got a mow back here. And I didn't know if he had a ride on mower, but then he told me he had a push mower. So I still wanted to make sure I had him, he gave him enough space. So right here, still probably not gonna grow with grass, but at least he can get his push mower through here. So I was just going back and forth on re-edging this and still wanted to make it, you know, circular while still giving him enough room to get through here to over here. Well, the old man finally showed up. Yeah. <laughs> Job's almost done. <laughs> but I'm gonna set up a time lapse of the uh, this bed getting mulched. All right, pretty much finished up here, and I'm actually really excited with the way this turned out. Um, these patios I really wasn't anticipating to lay, lay down or I hadn't planned for or put in the estimate, but um, as I was digging around the bed, um, those popped up and I decided to put them in, and uh, looks pretty cool. This definitely took me a lot longer than I thought it would. The job in total was about 18 and a half hours. My dad did help me. Um, so it was 18 and a half hours in total. We'll round it up to 20 hours, say, without my dad. I grossed $1,615.50. Expenses subtracted out of that. The mulch was $160. The, we'll say gas is $30 in order to dump it at the landfill plus diesels about $28 my total for expenses is $218 now you subtract that from the $16.15 and you get $13.97.50 for 20 hours this comes out to just under $70 an hour which 
is not bad. Actually, now that I think about it, I did have to rent scaffolding as well. So if you were to include the scaffolding cost, uh, the setup time, I probably ended up being right around $50 an hour, which is what I shoot for when I work for myself. For anybody out there that does want to do this, um, you know, some of the materials that you're gonna need to do a job like this, um, you're certainly gonna need a trimmer. It's gonna uh, run you probably about $300 uh, if you get the string trimmer and then um, the attachment for an actual hedge trimmer, I don't know, you might be looking at $300, $350, I would say. Uh, you do need a truck. Uh, my truck, actually, it's a diesel. I bought that for $5,700 with a plow. It does need a new clutch and it has some issues. Ran for me the whole summer and I've certainly made some money on it. Generally speaking, I would say you can get a truck for about $10,000 and it'll do you just fine. I would not recommend going out there and getting a brand new truck. I mean, you certainly can, but I would say if you're really trying to um, recoup your money on your investment, get like a $10,000 truck. It's gonna be, you know, beat up. You might have to have some work done to it, but you will make your money back on it. Now, the other thing you would need for this job, uh, use a rake and a shovel. I mean, those two together, I said $100, but you could probably get it for less than that. Uh, I also used a tarp, about $20, and I also used a blower, but you don't need that scaffolding, but you would be renting that and you just include that in the price um, for the job. Well, total startup cost would be $10,420. It would take you just under seven and a half jobs to um, get your money back on your investment and another thing to keep in mind too is you could get a truck for less than ten thousand like I said I got mine for fifty seven hundred dollars and to be honest I had a lot of setbacks on this job there was a rainy day um, you know one day I put in there was two days where I only put in five and a half hours the other day was seven and a half hours you could really hustle and you could do two of these jobs a week I think you know these types of jobs are there's really not a whole lot of skill that goes into it. Yes, there is some things that you need to know, but it's really it's stuff that you can learn online, um, and you can really, I think, make some good money doing this. Now, this isn't mentioning if you go out and you actually get your own crew. Well, you get to the point where you have multiple crews going out there, and yes, you're making less money um, per job, but the volume of jobs that you're doing is bringing in more money. So I just wanted to throw in there uh, something that I learned on this job and the reason that it took so long uh, with the bed, wherever the edge is, you break that back and you make the back of the bed higher. But I hadn't actually done a bed that was as big as that, so I didn't really take into account how much time that would take. And the other thing was there used to be a pool there, so it was already built up with sand. With all these things combined, it took a lot more time than I thought. This is definitely something I'm going to look out for in the future. Um, look at how big the size of the bed is, just how much material there is there that needs to be moved. So um, there's good money in this, uh, but that's it. That's all I have for this breakdown. And let me know what you guys think. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I should be having another video coming out very soon. Thank you guys.